Hello everyone, this is Asma Mushtaq from the WE Vibes and in this video lecture I am going to explain how can we design a 4 to 1 line multiplexer by using 2 to 1 line multiplexer. Alright, before understanding the concept or performing this operation, let's understand what is a multiplexer. So a multiplexer simply has n select lines. And it has to raised to power n input line out of which only one will be forwarded at the output side. So output line will always be a single bit number or single output line. So assuming that if n is equal to 1 then as per the rule you will have 2 raised to power 1 which is equal to 2 input line and you will have the single output path so let's just assume that here the block is representing a mux so it will have 2 input lines that are i naught and i1 here will be a single select line which is represented by S0 and here you can see a single output line. Fine. If I represent this behavior or the functionality of a multiplexer in terms of a table, I can mark here is the select line and this is the output line or output function F. So when S not is actually equal to 0 you will have i not at the output side and when s not is equal to 1 you will have i 1 at the output side the multiplexer can also be represented like that here you can see the first input line which is i not and the second input line which is I1 here I can connect S0 and in this way you will be getting the output line fine so this is a 2 to 1 line multiplexer let's see now how we can design a 4 to 1 line multiplexer by using 2 2 to 1 line multiplexer so this is the first mux similarly I can draw the second multiplexer which will have two other input lines that are i2 and i3 and obviously it will produce the single line output this select line can also be connected with the second mux fine and then the output of these two muxes can be fed into another mux which will be obviously two to one line multiplexer and it will be connected with this select line as not fine so here i have used three two to one line multiplexers and now let's draw the table for understanding the functionality so this is s1 this is s not and here is the output function when S1 and S0 both are 0, you will have I0 at the output side. When they are 0, 1, you will have input 1 at the output side. When 1, 0, you will have I2. And when both inputs are 1 and or when both select lines are 1, then you will have the third input at the output side. Fine. For understanding the concept, Let's just verify this combination. So when select line S0 is equal to 1. Fine. Let's set its value equal to 1 in this case. This 1 is actually demanding from the first mux to forward the second input at the output side. Okay. So here you will have I1 at the output side. 
while the second mark is also connected with the same select line fine so it will also ask the second input to be at the output part so this will forward its second input which is i3 in this case at the output side all right now the third mux is having these two input lines which is which are i1 and i3 now the value of s1 sorry this is s1 basically so the value of s1 is actually equal to 0 fine whenever the select line is 0 it means the first input will be forwarded at the output side so i1 will be produced at the output side so you can see for this combination the circuit operation is verified similarly you can check it for other values so let's assume that now we are going to verify for this combination like s naught is equal to 0 when s naught is actually equal to 0 let me mention it over here so this mux will select its first input at the output side so you will have i naught in this case and similarly this second mux will have will forward its first input which is i2 in this case and hence the third mux is having i naught and i2 at its input lines fine the value of s1 or the select line 1 is 1 so as this has become now 1 which means select the second input so in this way you will get i2 at the output side so you have seen how the operation of the 4 to 1 line mux is verified if you have some questions drop your questions in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for watching